what if maybe my parents are trying to have another baby? I mean, if it's a boy, then Simone and I would have a little brother. Is that what you're seeing? No, well, that could be it. Well, why don't you think that's it? Well, because your tea leaves are saying something else. Something most confusing. Well, what are they saying? Well, it seems as if your brother is going to come between you and your sister, Simone. Okay, you just just wait a minute. Did you just say that my brother is going to come between Simone and me? Yes. I'm only telling you what I see in the tea leaves, dear. They foretell that a brother is coming into your life, a brother who will come between you and your sister. Well, now I know this is just some silly party game, because even if Simone and I did have a brother, which we don't, there's no way that he would ever come between us. We would both love him very much. Well, maybe I'm reading the leaves incorrectly. I, well, uh, maybe there's another boy who would come between you and your sister. Is there anyone like that in your lives? Fresh cup of coffee. Oh, okay. Uh, thanks. Have you heard anything, anything about Kay Miguel or Charity? Uh, no, not yet. Just hope they're all right. I don't see how they could be, not after what we saw. Yeah. I just wish I knew what was going on, that's all. I mean, how did Kay, Miguel, and Charity ever end up in, in, in hell? Will you hold me, Chad? So afraid of what could happen next. Hey, you should run. I'm scared to death for Kay and the others. I I can't believe that you're still so angry with your father. Look, I don't think of Sam Bennett as my father. And the truth is, I'm not going to respect a man who treats my mother so coldly. But Chief Bennett saved your life, Ethan. He kept demons from pulling you into hellfire. He was doing his job. No. He was saving his son's life. I really wish they'd stop calling me his son. I'm sorry. But it's true. And he did save your life, Ethan. I know. And I'm grateful to him for that. But I just can't forgive him for treating my mother the way he does. I feel terrible that Ivy is still in love with Sam, but he is married to Grace. They have a family together. I know. The family that my mother has always wanted with him. Ethan, the Bennets have been married for years. Chief Bennett would never leave his wife. He couldn't. Grace, you can't be serious about having Sam meet with Ivy to resolve their past. Yes, I am. If they were torn apart so abruptly, Sam never had a chance to get past his feelings for Ivy. Sam has told you what his feelings are. He loves you, not Ivy. He hasn't even thought about her in over 20 years. No, no, Sam said you never get over your first love. No, Ivy was his first love. Even, even they have a child together. Sam didn't even know about Ethan until recently. It's not as if they bonded. You are Sam's life, not Ivy. You have to know that. You know, what I know is that I can't trust Sam anymore. He has lied to me far too often. Now, if he can spend some time with Ivy and get past his feelings with her, then maybe I can relax a little bit and begin to trust him again. But Eve, I am not going to spend the rest of my life fearing that there is a part of Sam that is still in love with Ivy. I, I, I just won't do that. No, you're right to be afraid, Grace. Because there is a part of Sam that still loves me. And I know that when we're together, I can reignite his love. Grace wants you to do what? You heard me. She's decided that I should meet with Ivy to resolve any feelings I have with her. Sam, that's crazy. I agree. 
Now, I've told Grace over and over, I don't know how many times, that I don't have feelings for her. I believe you. But if Grace is worried about it, maybe this is a way to ease her mind and get your marriage back on track. Oh, man, it's just so stupid. <laughs> Not to Grace, it isn't. Well, look, I don't have time with all this craziness with Ivy. Look, I got other things to worry about. I mean, the kids are still trapped in hell. Now, I need to get back in there and try to save them. No, you don't. Father Lonigan said not to. You know, come to think of it, maybe Grace knows exactly what she's doing. What are you talking about? Maurice is so frustrated. I can tell how badly he wants to go back inside and rescue Miguel and the girls. Only Father Lonigan is dead set against it. Since this whole situation is so bizarre, I think a priest knows what's best. Yeah, you're right. I still can't believe what's going on. I can't believe that Charity and Kay and Miguel are being held by demons in hell. I can't believe a lot of the things that have happened since I left to help the feds. Sheridan, I'm happy for you and Luis. It's obvious how you two feel about each other, and I'm glad. Thank you, Hank. What did Luis mean earlier when he said there was a conversation you two had to finish? Actually, before Luis got the call to come here, he was at my place, down on one knee. He was about to propose? I think so. I should know what the hell was going on in that house. This wing was killing me. We got my brother and those girls out of there. Be warned, if you try to rescue Charity using the source of your power, you will be destroyed. How could it save Charity? Well, actually it's quite simple. This claw possesses such enormous powers that if it were to be thrown through the portal into hell, the portal through which Charity was abducted... Charity's closet. That's where the demon got her, right? Yes, right. Well, if this claw was thrown through that portal, it would give Charity the power to free itself. Be brave, small creature. You are the only one standing between Charity and an eternity in hell. Don't listen to him. Put away your instrument of power, or you'll endure suffering till the end of time. I would hold the hand of the one who could leave me places, and kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet. Am I wrong, dear? Are, are you sure there's no young man who could possibly come between you and your sister? I mean, if there were, I'm sure that Simone and I could deal with it. I mean, we're really tight. We talk about everything together. Mm. Well, you must have an exceptional relationship. <laughs> Most sisters are in constant conflict. <laughs> right, well, not us. I mean, you girls have never fought over a boyfriend. I love it when you hold me, Chad. I've hated being away from you lately. But from now on, I won't neglect you ever again. All right? I promise. Besides, I can't take a chance with some other girl trying to take you away from me.
Why are you looking at me like that? I was just thinking about what you said. That Chief Bennett would never leave Grace? I don't think it's true. No, why would you say that? Well, the things have changed. I mean, from what I've seen, Grace isn't rushing to forgive him for his relationship with my mother, keeping that a secret. Grace is, is just hurt, Ethan, that's all. But she would never end her marriage. Marriage is forever. I, I think that's a very romantic way to look at life. But obviously my mother loves him, for whatever reason. Maybe Sam should be with a woman who really loves him. Why you're surprised, Eve? We talked about this at the hospital after I lost my baby. I want a man who loves me and only me. Sam does love you and only you, Grace. Well, I need to be positive. And I want him to spend some time with Ivy and get past his feelings for her. I hope you know what you're doing. That's what I want, too, Grace. A man who loves me and only me. When Sam and I get together to resolve our feelings, that's what I'll have. I know when Sam spends time with me, he'll remember the love we have. And he'll never want to leave me again. What do you mean, TC? I mean, why do you think Grace asking me to meet with Ivy's a bad idea? You know, Sam, you're always talking about a man never gets over his first love. Maybe you're afraid that Grace is right. Maybe you're afraid that you may still have feelings for Ivy. Going on. Are there any plans to go back inside the house yet? No. Waiting for word from Father Long. Well, Chardon's waiting too, buddy. Hank? I heard you get down on one knee back at the cottage. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna ask a certain lady something, but then I got a call to come here. You guys hear that? There's definitely something going on in there. I just hope you haven't uh, forgotten the question you're gonna ask Sheridan. No, Hank, it's not the kind of question a guy forgets. That's a relief. I can't take this anymore. I'm gonna go find Sam, see if he'll go back in the house with me, all right? Luis, no, you can't go back in there. I won't let you. Put away the instrument of power, little one. Leave now or face eternity in hell. No, you must leave. Leave this house, this town, leave the good people of harmony and peace. Go to hell! No, demon, you go back to hell! Back to the fiery pit! Yo! Padre! You did it! You truly thank you. I accept your thanks, small creature. But there is still danger. As I told you, if you try to save Charity, you yourself will be destroyed. You truly doesn't need to be reminded of that. I'm sorry my holy water can't help you save Charity and the others, but it doesn't have enough power. You must find the strength and courage to do what is right. But the demon scares you truly. If the little angel sent you, heaven must believe you can defeat evil. Truly thought so too, but did you hear that? What? I hear the children. You have never fought with Simone over a boy. I'm getting vibes from this tea leaves that say otherwise. Well, your tea leaves are wrong. I mean, of course, Simone and I have fought. All sisters fight, right? But we always work things out. Look, I, I don't think any guy can ruin the relationship I have with my sister, okay? Of course, you know your sister better than I do, dear, but I'm just confused since the tea leaves are rarely wrong. 
Look, I think I'm going to go back to the Bennetts to see if anyone needs me over there, okay? Oh, well, of course, child, run along, and I, I do appreciate your spending time with me. Sure, no problem. Bye. Bye-bye, Whitney. I don't think any guy could ruin my relationship with my sister. <laughs> think again, sweetie. <gasps> Not only will this guy ruin your relationship with your sister, he's going to ruin your life. <laughs> Chad, I just remembered. You said that there was something you wanted to talk about, but my dad interrupted us. Uh, yeah. Yeah, right. Well, we're alone now. Tell me what's on your mind. Look, you and I have come a long way. But we still have a long way to go. Look, look, all I'm saying is that I know you want to focus on your tennis. And that what's happening between us is a first for you. It's for both of us. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I've been around long enough to know the real thing when I see it. And this you, Whitney. You're the real thing. And then so. Well, uh, I guess this is as good a time as any to tell you this. Uh, because I really don't want to drag this out too much longer, so, um... Drag what out? What is it that you want to tell me? <sighs> Are you saying that you think it's all right to bail out of marriage at the first sign of trouble? Because that's, that's not what I, I think at all. I don't... <laughs> and what about the church? I mean, religion teaches us that marriage is forever, and then that's what I believe with all of my heart. Now, I thought that's that you believed that, too. I thought that we believe the same things, Ethan, but I'm starting to see that, that maybe we don't. And I can't get married to you with any doubt that my husband will be committed to me forever. Ethan, I can't be your wife. If you think marriage is something you can get out of so easily. Look, TC, you were wrong, right? I don't have feelings for Ivy. And it wouldn't matter if I saw her every day for a year. I still wouldn't have feelings for her. All right, well, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. But as your best friend, I thought I should bring it up. Good. Good. Excuse me. Ivy. Yes, Sam? Listen, when all this craziness is over with the kids, we gotta talk. I wonder if Sam's asking Ivy to meet with him. Well, it's what you want, isn't it? Luis, I won't let you go back in there. Sheridan, Sheridan, it's gonna be all right, okay? Hey, can you give us a few minutes? Uh, sure. I haven't said hi to my brother and Grace yet. I wonder if I could still put the two of them in the same sentence. Huh? Only one way to find out. Yeah. Hmm. Well, uh, huh. guess you know I was going to propose. I was hoping. <laughs> yeah, but um, before before I uh, before I ask you that, there's something we need to talk about. Something serious. What? I've been putting it off, but I can't put it off any longer. If we're going to get married, then we need to come to terms with something. We're never going to stand a chance. It's coming for us! It's coming for us! What's happening? Something's coming for us! No! Go back! Dear Lord. <laughs> Jerry! Jerry! No! No! It's a hell of a 
What, Chad? What do you want to tell me? Uh, it ain't really easy for me to say this, but um, I know I have to. Look, Chad, don't be nervous. I mean, you could tell me anything. Okay, well, um, I wanted Sugar to talk to you about... Where's my coffee? Oh my gosh, I forgot, Daddy. I'm sorry. I'll go get it right now. All right. I'm sorry I have to leave you. All right. We'll, uh, we'll definitely talk later. Aren't you going to ask me why I brought you coffee and forgot to bring my dad's? Why? <laughs> because I really needed another hug. Oh. <laughs> Am I wrong, dear? Are, are you sure there's no young man who could possibly come between you and your sister? Wait a minute. That's, that's not what I think. Now, people shouldn't bail out of a marriage just because they run into trouble. But you just said that Chief Bennett should be grapes. Uh, okay, I, I just meant that their marriage is kind of shaky right now. I didn't mean to upset you. Uh, I'm just worried about my mother. And in spite of everything that's happened and the, the mistakes she's made, I don't want her to end up alone. I don't either. Then you won't bail out on our marriage if we have trouble? No, never, no. I will never leave you. Ethan, I will never give you a reason to want to leave me. I know. And I will never give you a reason to leave me either. I will love you forever. <sighs> Luis, you sound so... Ominous. What do you want to talk to me about? The way you reacted a minute ago. The way you grabbed my arm to keep me from going inside the house. I was afraid for you. I saw what went on in there. It was horrible. I didn't want you getting hurt. I understand. But if you're going to be a cop's wife, you got to learn how to rein in your emotions. You got to be in control. But you could have been in so much danger. I am always in dangerous situations. Look, if, I mean, before we can even think about getting married, you got to ask yourself. You gotta be honest with yourself. And you deal with being a cop's wife. What do you want to talk about, Sam? About putting our past to rest. About forgetting what we used to have together. I'll never forget about what we had, Sam because we're going to have it again. Only this time with our son, Ethan. Excuse me. Listen, uh, Grace. God. Her house is falling apart. It's just it's too ironic, isn't it, Sam? Our house and our marriage falling apart at the same time. The door will open when you are prepared to use the special powers granted you to save Charity, small creature. Powers weren't exactly granted. Yours truly kind of took them. It doesn't matter how you came to have the powers. You have them. And you must use them just as the angel told you how. You were very brave to come here, small creature, and I am strangely proud of you. I trust that you will do what is right and good and save Charity. Yours truly thanks, Padre, for helping him. You are welcome, small creature, but I can do no more. It is up to you. I will pray for you. <laughs> Timmy has to do this. Timmy has to do what's right. Timmy, sorry if Princess won't get her powers back. But Timmy has to save Charity. 
Then Timmy will be... Timmy will be a hero. Timmy. Oh, you saved me. I knew you wouldn't let me die. I just knew it. Now we can spend the rest of our lives together. Instead of being in hell for all of eternity, I'll be with the doll I love. Oh, my hero! My precious Timmy! Ah! Timmy will save Charity. Then she'll love him forever. All you have to do is open the door, throw in the claw, and hope he isn't killed on the spot. Hey, you hey. too. Hey, welcome home. Thanks, bro. Hi, Grace. Hey, Hank. Mm. It's nice to have you back. We heard how you've been helping out the feds here and overseas. Way to go. Thanks, bro. You know, I heard what's been happening with Kay, Charity, and Miguel. It's hard to believe it's all true. Yeah, well, it is. I didn't believe it at first either, but... Uh... But evil's come to harmony. And how? You know, I wish there was something more I could do to help, but Luis said that Father Lonigan put a hold on any more rescue Father attempts. Lonigan believes it's a spiritual matter instead of a police matter. Now, I agree with him to a point, but on the other hand, I can't let this situation go on any longer. I put in a call into the station to see if we can get some equipment over here, just in case we need it. Father Lonigan said to wait. Look, I just want to be ready in case Father Lonigan's way doesn't work. Oh, Grace. I'm gonna do everything I can to get those kids out, right? Just like I'm gonna do everything I can to save our marriage. All right? Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, Sam, I hope our marriage can be saved. I know I can handle being the wife of a cop. But I'll still worry about you putting your life on the line every day. Well, that, that is part of being a cop. Do you remember when I was your bodyguard and kept the French drug cartel from killing you? I remember. Well, then you'll remember all the crazy stuff I did to keep you healthy. Swinging from a cable wire outside the top floor of a hotel. Running through the forest, dodging bullets at night. Jumping from a helicopter. Stuff like that. Yeah, but we were together then. We were a team. I felt like I had some kind of control over the situation. Now, look, as much as I would like to take you on patrol with me every day, I can't. I don't know, but I wish you could. See, it's stuff like that. I can't have you out there worrying about me when I go to work every day. I'm a cop. I'm always in dangerous situations. But you don't have to be a cop anymore. I have money, and once we get married, it will be our money. No, we already talked about this. I will not live off your money. If I did that, if, if I didn't take responsibility for our lives, I wouldn't be happy. I don't think you'd be happy either. That's just that's not the kind of man that you want to be with. At least I'd know you were safe. Well, that's Father Lonigan. I need to talk to him. Father! Father, what's going on up there? Right. When can we get back inside for another rescue attempt? Yeah, Father, just give us the word, all right? No one can go in the house. Not yet. Well, when then? What are we waiting for, Father? Please, everyone, calm down. The rescue of the children is in good hands. An angel sent someone who is now in the house trying a rescue on his own. An angel sent someone? from down under crying out for help <laughs> but what could any of the inhabitants of hell be afraid of <laughs> anything that could harm them is the demon's claw it's gone 
Demi. Oh. Damn. Give me that new bit of the stall. He must be over at the Bennett's trying to save charity and her crispy cohorts. I can't let that happen. Timmy Pope's blondie. I'll never get my powers back. I've got to stop that demented little demon slayer. I've seen it, I still can't believe it. Looks like things are going from bad to worse. My God, the rumors are true. All hell has broken loose. Commander, did you bring those shields I asked for? They're in the van over there. Great. Lewis. Lewis. The shields are here. The ones that department just ordered? Yeah, bulletproof and fireproof. We talk about good time and those things are impenetrable. Yeah. They may help us get Cage, Herod, and Miguel out of Hellfire. I know I'm willing to do anything, Sam. Let's do it. Hey, let's do it. Right, all right. Sam, no. Father Lonigan said this is a spiritual matter, not a police matter. You better listen to him. Grace is right. Please do not go into that house and risk your lives. The angel sent a creature to rescue the children. We must trust in the Lord. Please, Sam, you can't go in there. Grace, listen to me. I do trust in God. But God helps those who help themselves. Now listen, I'm sorry, Father Lonigan, but we got no time to waste. We're going in. We're going to bring those kids out. I'm coming too. No, Ethan. Great. Ethan, we got plenty of shields, and one of them yours. Sam, you can count me in. Good. Yeah, me too, Chief. Good. Oh, Chad, please be careful. All right, let's go. I wish you wouldn't do this. Sheridan, you have to let go of me. Sheridan, if you don't let me do my job, there's no future between us. Let go. I love you. I love you too. Let go. Let go. Come on, let's go. Come on. Hurry it up. Let's go. Come on! We gotta hurry and get those kids out. Come on, let's go. Goodness sent you here to fight us? A creature made of rags and stuffing? Leave now! Before you catch fire and burn alive for all eternity! <laughs> Destroyed if you use the claw to save these mortals. We will destroy you. I don't want you to do this, but if you are going to, please be careful because I love you so much. Sweetheart, I love you too. Don't worry, I will be careful. Hey, Chad. Honey. I don't know what to say to you, but it's... please be careful, okay? Grace, you have to come and say something to Sam. You can't let him go in there and battle with evil without telling him that you love him. I agree, right? Please, just, just be careful and, and don't take any chances, not after what happened before. Hey, I won't. Look, I'm, I've got to rescue Miguel. He's my future brother in law. It'll be okay. All right. We're going to go into the front door. All right, everybody ready? Yeah. All right, let's do this. Let's go. <clears throat> Father Lonigan, do you think those shields would do any good against the evil? I don't know, my child. All we can do is pray. 
pray that the men will be able to save Miguel, Charity, and Kay. And that they will all come back alive. Are they... You don't think... I mean, is there a chance that they won't come back? Pray with me, Teresa. We must all pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Come on, keep your head down! So, all right, everyone stick together. All right. all right, and use your shields. Ready? Yeah, let's go. To burn in hell forever! Help us! Help! Realize! Somebody please help us! Don't have to do what you don't have to do! So what do you think you're doing? <laughs> 